Hello guys and welcome to another video. So I'm gonna start a new series, okay? So uh, I'm gonna talk about C Sharp, which is an ex excellent language uh, for development. And I'm gonna talk about a little bit on the history of the language, which uh, some of you may know already, but C Sharp is like Java, but was made by Microsoft. So the entire language it's just that, but at the same time, it's not just that. So, okay, so the language is almost 20 years old, okay? It has 18 years, uh, so it's almost a adult already. Um, it is in its uh, 7.3 version, uh, which is, I know, it's the 8th language. Okay, version, I guess. Yeah. So, there is all the history here. It started by Enders um, Helsingberg. I don't know how to say his name. But the guy is the same guy which created um, Delphi. Dot not, no, Delphi, okay? So, just Delphi. I was completely <laughs> confused by that. So... The version 1.0 started in January 2002. And let's see. My favorite version is the version 5.0, which has uh, async and await, which is two of the greatest, the greatest features in this language. So you guys can see the 2.0 has generics, uh, 3.0 has uh, extensions and anonymous types. Uh, 4.0 have uh, dynamic Python, which I forget what it is. And 5.0 has asynchronous methods. Uh, and is, it is currently in the C Sharp 7.3, which I think will be released soon. So. Uh, it, is, it is owned by Microsoft, but part of the language is open source as part of the .NET framework, which we'll talk later about. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching this video, guys, and I hope you like it, and, and soon I will start the course. So, see you guys later.